In this video, let's see another numerical problem which was asked in the CBSC previous year examination of the year 2010. It was based on some miscellaneous concepts of continuity and discontinuity. Let's see how to solve it. It says that find all the points of discontinuity. So basically you have to tell where and all the function is not continuous. And the function is given by mod x plus 3 minus 2x, 6x plus 2, x less than equal to minus 3, minus 3 to 3 and x greater than equal to 3. So you see that this time the function is a bit more complex maybe. Here it is suppose minus 3 and here it is suppose 3. So you have different categories of the function. When x is less than equal to minus 3, the function is given by mod x plus 3. So less than equal to minus 3 means from here to the side left hand words of it. Next is minus 3 to 3. So minus 3 to 3 is this range. And next is x greater than equal to 3. Again it means that you have to include 3 and it should be greater than equal to that. So this is about the categories. Now you already know what about x less than equal to 3. When I write my solution in short and I say that for x less than minus 3. I have the first category suppose I say that my first category is x less than minus 3. What can you infer about x less than minus 3? x less than minus 3 means the function should be mod x plus 3. My fx is equal to mod x plus 3. Now modulus function is always continuous. 3 is also a constant it is always continuous. Sum of two continuous functions is again continuous. So it is what? It is continuous. I am writing in short. I have explained you how it is continuous. If the question is of more marks means 4 and above you have to explain whole solely. How did it become continuous? It became continuous because mod x is itself continuous. 3 is constant again continuous. Sum of continuous functions is also continuous so it is continuous. So there is no point of discontinuity in the area less than minus 3. Now move to minus 3 to 3. When the area second region is what? Second region minus 3 to 3. I have to check in this. What is my fx? My fx is given by minus 2x. Now it is again what? It is again constant because minus 2 is constant. And x, it is again continuous, not constant. Is continuous because minus 2 is constant. x is identity, it is constant. Multiplication of 2 continuous also gives me continuous. I repeat again, minus 2 is constant, x is identity and product of these 2 because it itself is continuous, it itself is continuous, product of these 2 is also continuous. One criteria is this, otherwise also minus 2x can behave as what kind of a function? It can behave as simply identity or it can behave as even a polynomial with degree 1. Right? So it is what? It is again continuous because the product makes it continuous. Individual functions continuous, their product also continuous. So no issues with this area also. Let's move to the third region into consideration. The third region is x greater than 3. x greater than 3 means this area. What is the function value? 6x plus 2. So the function value is 6x plus 2. It is a kind of polynomial function. And polynomial function is also always what? Continuous. So there is no discontinuity in these three regions. If at all, if at all discontinuity can exist, it can exist either at minus 3 or it can exist at 3. Otherwise in the regions less than or greater than it, there is no discontinuity we have seen. Now let's check the fourth would be let's check our continuity, let's check the continuity at what? Let's check the continuity at firstly x is equal to minus 3 and let's see if there is some discontinuous function or point in it. x is equal to minus 3 means firstly you need to go about LHL at x is equal to minus 3 because left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit should be equal to the value of the function. LHL at x is equal to minus 3 means less than minus 3. Which function? Mod x plus 3. So it becomes what? It becomes limit 
x tends to 3 minus 3 negative or simply minus 3 and the function. Now what is the function? It is mod x plus 3. Direct substitution substitute minus 3 in place of x in mod x and plus 3. It's there plus 3. Now what is mod of minus 3? You know modulus has the function to make everything positive. So mod of minus 3 is 3 plus 3 which is 6. Similarly, let's check about RHL at x is equal to minus 3. RHL at x is equal to minus 3 means what? Limit x tends to minus 3 plus fx. This you know. Now what is greater than minus 3 function? Greater than minus 3x. Greater than minus 3 is minus 2x. It is minus 2x. So it is minus 2 into x which is minus 3. Now minus 2 into minus 3 is again 6. Because 2 3s are 6 minus minus plus. 6 is equal to 6. In fact, that equal to also is already checked, right? Equal to is here and it is mod x plus 3. Even if you want to check f of minus 3, even if. Otherwise, it's not needed. If you want to check f of minus 3, it is what? Simply putting in this function because equal to lies with this only. Mod x plus 3. Mod x plus 3, it is 3 plus 3 which is 6. You see that the left hand limit, the right hand limit and the value of the function are equal. So, my function is continuous. I say that yes, it is what? It is what? It is continuous. At x is equal to minus 3. So, it is continuous here. Now, last but not the least, I have to check the fifth category which is continuity at x is equal to 3. If it is continuous, no point of discontinuity. If it is not, then it is a point of discontinuity, right? So, check continuity check continuity at x is equal to 3. At x is equal to 3 what happens? Let's check for left hand limit. Left hand limit at x is equal to 3 and then we'll check for right hand limit 2. What is left hand limit? Left hand limit at x is equal to 3 means what is for x less than 3? It means limit x tends to 3 negative fx, right? x being less than 3. Being less than 3 means minus 2x. So you have to just put 3 in minus 2x. So it becomes minus 6. Next is what? RHL at x is equal to 3. That means limit x tends to 3 positive fx. Now what is 3 positive? Means greater than 3. Greater than 3 is 6x plus 2. So simply put 3 in 6x plus 2. What is the result? 6 3s are 18, 18 plus 2 is 20. Now there is no need to check even f of 3. Because even if you check f of 3, it will be here only. Even if you write f of 3, it is going to be the same function. So it is 6x plus 2 which is 20. Now for continuity, we know that LHL should be equal to RHL, should be equal to the value of the function. But here LHN and RHL are themselves not equal. Because minus 6 is not equal to 20. That means what? That means my function is not continuous at x is equal to 3 and it is continuous everywhere else but not continuous at x is equal to 3. And the question asks find all the points of discontinuity. So there is only one point of discontinuity. One point of discontinuity which is x is equal to 3 and this is the answer.